Hey guys, it's Greg Anchback with Skiers Marina West over here to show you Mastercraft's NXT 22. Their answer to a value line that truly is only value and price. All right guys, the first thing you're gonna notice about the NXT is unlike some of our competitors, we don't have a box here. We actually have lines and flow. You can see that this boat is not straight. Uh, a lot of our competitors' boats are more utilitarian for lack of a better word. They look like a brick that maybe somebody's carved a little bit out of the sides and they really don't have any personality. You ever go down the road and see a sports car and it catches your eye, you do a double take. This is a boat that's gonna do that for you because it's not flat, it's not straight, it actually has curves. One of the things you're gonna notice about all the NXT boats is we use a pickle fork or a wide bow front end. Not only does this look kinda of cool, but it's really practical, especially if you have a lot of young children. They tend to gravitate toward the front of the boat and you can fit a whole lot more kids up in the bow of this boat than you can some of the competitors. Okay, as we cut to the back of the boat, you're gonna notice that we have a very ergonomic transom, nice little seat to sit on. And with all of our Mastercraft boats, we're incorporating the Mastercraft Gen 2 surf system. Early on in surfing, we all kind of figured out that all you had to do is throw a bunch of weight into a boat and you can make a wave. Mastercraft has really taken it up a notch with the Gen 2 system where we can truly customize that surf wave. It's a very malleable wave. I'm a big guy, I'm 6'4", 250 pounds. My daughter is half my weight. She's not gonna surf the way that I surf. So because of this three tab system, we're able to customize the wave. We can go to a big guy that needs a lot of push, or we can go to a little 120 pound girl or even an 80 pound child and make a wave that's doable for that individual. If you look at these tabs, you're gonna notice that on this boat and all of our boats, they're all shaped differently. Uh, there are similar systems on the market that are kind of cookie cutter systems. It's a one system fits all boats. In the Mastercraft lineup, all of these systems are going to be made for that specific hull. To make sure that we're getting as much wave, as much shape, as much adjustability as we can for that particular boat. Our center tab is our attitude adjustment plate. This is simply going to change our boat's running attitude, bow up or bow down. This is advantageous for rough water rides. It's also advantageous for being able to sink the back of the boat down to make a bigger, steeper surf wave. The tabs on the outside are the actual Gen 2 surf tabs, and they're not symmetrical. Remember, we have a lot of prop torque on this boat. Counterclockwise prop means that the waves are gonna be affected differently behind each side of the boat. So if you look at the tabs, and you look at whether or not they have little running chines up underneath them, they're different. This side has running chines. The starboard side is completely flat. So they put a lot of research and development dollars into developing the perfect wave on either side of the boat for whatever size person or whatever level surfer that you're trying to accommodate behind the boat. Right, so here I am on the transom of the boat. And like I said, when the boat was out on the trailer, you can see this is a very comfortable place to sit, whether you're just chilling and having a good time or you're actually back here getting a board on. Uh, I'm a tall guy, so it looks like I have plenty of leg room, but even for uh, ladies and young children, they can reach the board, no problem. We also have cup holders. It's kind of cool when you're chilling. If I walk over the transom, you can see that this is a very open floor plan. This is a 20 foot, 22 foot boat. It fits kind of right in the middle of the NXT portfolio. We have a 20 foot, we have a 24 foot. Uh, this tends to be our niche size. It's not too big to pull with a standard truck, and a lot of the deeper garages can accommodate this boat. Uh, you're not gonna feel like you're pulling a barge when you're going down the highway. We have very open seating. All of the Mastercraft boats are open. Uh, this particular boat has cool fill vinyl. Uh, don't freak out about the black interior. Here in the, here in the south, I realize that this can be really, really hot. Cool fill vinyl actually does work. It's 30% cooler than standard vinyl. And just a few short years ago, we would never thought about putting a black interior in a boat. But even in Alabama, as hot as we get, it can accommodate this interior. The boats come with snap-out carpet standard. 
We actually have incorporated some soft grit flooring into the boat. Customers really tend to like this because it's cool on their feet, it dries out really quickly, and it's definitely anti-skid. All of the seating in these boats is extremely ergonomically comfortable. By that, again, just like the outside of the boat where we have a lot of lines to our boat, the inside of the boat is not utilitarian. The seat backs are not straight upright. You don't feel like you're sitting in the principal's office with your back up straight. You have a tendency to want to sit back and throw your feet up and cross your legs. It's that way throughout the boat. The observer seat is extremely comfortable. It actually is designed to really super recline. First thing you're going to notice about our storage compartments is everything is deep. These rear wing storage compartments allow access for soft goods. Now keep in mind this boat has Gen 2 Surf, so we have the three uh, hard ballast tanks, but in addition to that we have soft bags over on top of those that will actually create displacement or downward pressure to make a bigger surf wave. Uh, but you can put soft goods such as uh, ropes, vests, that kind of thing, towels, plenty of room to put extra gear back here. Over here, we have our main coffin locker, and I've got some gear in here, but this is extremely deep. And because Mastercraft is made so well, we don't have to have brace pieces into the side. This is open from our batteries here in the transom, all the way up to the front of the boat. Plenty of room for skis, surfboard, any, any gear that you would find necessary. Another option that we put on this boat is our reverse flip seat. Uh, I know there are a lot of our competitors out there have some shape or form of this seat, uh, but this is not only easy to use, but it's very practical because we've incorporated a backrest into it. Simply pull a little handle out, rock this seat to the rear, and we actually have stadium view seating because let's face it, that's where the action is behind the boat. A lot of our competitors really push a playpen bow seating. That's an option on this boat. We can get a bow filler cushion that will completely encapsulate and enclose the front of this boat and give you lots of room to stretch out. But it's not your only alternative because underneath these front seats we have additional storage. If you're in rough water, and if I can go into parent mode for just a moment, if your kids are up here, you can actually have them sit with their feet down on the deck. If I put the uh, playpen center cushion in, then we have a full cushion on the front. Then all Mastercrafts, with the exception of the ProStar, have a dedicated anchor locker built in. So you have a place to put your anchor. At 22 feet, we've got plenty of room up here to just about stretch out completely. As tall as I am, I can actually stretch my legs out in this boat. A lot of our competitors are really cutting down a lot of the room up in the bow of the boat. They don't have room to stretch out unless you're a little kid. Not only am I reclining facing forward, but if I'm watching the action behind the boat, I'm reclined toward the rear as well. Suffice to say, ergonomically correct and extremely comfortable. Hand holds are really easy to access, and I have enough cup holders up here to accommodate four different drinks. Now the standard engine happens to be in this boat. This is a six liter Ilmore engine. This engine comes out of the box with a seven year or 1,000 hour warranty. Uh, seven years, nobody does that. I can remember not too terribly many years ago where three years was pretty much an industry standard, but they're so confident in the product that they're gonna put seven years on this engine out of the box. That's say like seven years. While I've got this open, I wanna show you something that a lot of the competitors won't necessarily bring up. This little cylinder back here is a Halon fire extinguisher. That is standard on every single Mastercraft boat. There's a heat sensor in this engine compartment and God forbid you should have an engine fire. It will deploy, deploy this Halon system on its own. You don't have to raise this engine hatch and allow air to get to a fire. There's also a trigger at the helm where the driver can deploy the Halon system if necessary. And another thing I guess we'll show you when you get into the boat, I want you to see how the inside of this boat is finished out. Uh, I tell people look where you're not supposed to look because if a lot of our, our competitors take a shortcut, they really don't spend any time on the interior of the boat. 
they're only spending time on what you can actually see. This is the Mastercraft ZF2 tower. Not only does it look really good, but it's actually very practical. Comes with swivel board racks that'll go to a three position set. And for those of you that want to store the boat or get it into a lower garage, it's extremely easy to lower. I simply unscrew these pins on the side. You can see that the tower stays up on its own. Pull this down, we have an assist, and it's that easy. To put the tower back up, again, come to the back of the boat, raise the tower, and this is with tower speakers, by the way. Very light, this tower will stay up on its own. I go back and duplicate the process with the tower pins. This stereo is a Klipsch audio system stereo. The audio components, including the speakers, are also made by Klipsch. And you'll hear me talk a lot about billet aluminum and construction processes. These speaker cans are solid billet aluminum as well. It's not plastic and they're not fiberglass. The Bimini is extremely easy to put up and down. As I open this Bimini up, Three moves. I pull it forward. I lock my legs up. And I put my little Velcro tabs around the side. And that's it. Easy peasy way to put a Bimini up and down. One of the first things I want to show you is a glove box. I told you I'm intrigued by the little things. And I'll never say that there's a waterproof glove box on the market. But this glove box is as water resistant as it comes. You notice when I raise this, we actually have a seal around the glove box. That's going to keep your components, your iPhone, whatever you have in here dry. The driver's seat is also very ergonomically correct. It has great back support, but it also has some really nice cutouts. So if I'm talking to my crew, if I'm looking back at my rider, I can swivel the seat but it's not a necessity with these cutouts. I can simply spin in place. Here I'll show you our cooler compartment. The cooler goes right here. It's completely out of your way. We also have a de dedicated trash can and it's open on the front. So you can actually put trash in that can without raising this seat. We're incorporating analog gauges for the old guys like me. We have a computer to operate our system that's very user friendly, but we also have analog operating systems here. So for those of you that are afraid of screens and operating systems, I can do almost everything I need to on the boat with the analog controls. Here you can see our Klipsch head unit. Uh, Bluetooth is already incorporated. And if you're wondering what this little puck is up on the uh, outside of the boat, that's actually a GPS antenna. All Mastercraft boats have cruise control and it's a GPS driven cruise control. Uh, much more accurate than a paddle wheel. It's an option with most manufacturers, but it's actually standard with every Mastercraft boat. This is our actual operating system on the boat and you can see we have five pages. This is our gauge page and you can see I'm pulling up an analog representation. If I hit this button again, it's actually going to pull up a digital format that's going to give me everything I do on the analog side. Go back to my home screen. This is my cruise control. I can turn my cruise on or off with the push of a button. I can adjust my speed up or down with the push of a button. Very easy to use. On this screen, something that Mastercraft added very recently are presets, which is super, super cool. I go to my presets. If I want to surf on the left-hand side of the boat, I simply hit select. It's actually going to set my speed. It's going to load my ballast automatically. And if I go to my trim and tab section, you can see where it's already deployed my right hand, my starboard side trim tab, or excuse me, my starboard side surf tab to accommodate a surf wave on the left side of the boat. Ballast timers will tell us how much ballast we have on the boat. You can see our center tank already has 14%. Our rear system is up to 6% at this point. 
My status button is going to give me voltometer, engine temperature, oil pressure, and number of engine hours. Or I can hit the right hand button to take me to each of my pages. So now that we've gone over the boat on the interior and exterior, let's go ahead and take it out on the water. Hey guys, thanks again for joining me on the Mastercraft NXT 22. I hope that you've learned a little bit. Drop by one of our Skiers Marine locations to see one of these bad boys in person. Or better yet, take one out on the water. Y'all have a great day.